Hello everybody! I am the Black Sigma, or you could just call me Eric, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy. Where we are heading to the Deep Dark Galaxy. Yep, that that's it. Uh, so, the underground ghost ship is where we're heading first. Alright. I think I have a vague recollection of how this star works. But first and foremost, I'm gonna take that one up because, uh, you know, I lost a good handful of lives to saving and quitting the game, you know? And... Anyway, time to absolutely destroy all of these Opto Goombas. I think that was all of them. Alright. There's, uh... Hmm. Hang on. Feel like I missed something up there. Yeah, there's another planet just over there. What's up with this? Why is it a smaller version of the gate? And it has a screw? Wonder what that's, uh, holding in place. I'm gonna kill the last Goomba here, though. I think that was the last one anyway. Unscrew it and... Oh, right. It's a balloon. It's losing air. That's what's happening. I... I did it. I got all the coins. Neat. Hmm... Interestingly, there's this chest over here. I don't think that has anything to do with, uh, the star I'm going to get. But what I do need to do is actually grab the fire flower that's up on this planet. Because I was too busy collecting star bits and the like to think about what I actually needed to do. And what I actually need to do is light some torches. Like so. Ow. How dare you. That's what you get from whatever the name of the crab enemy is. I'm gonna assume it's just a regular old crab. Goodbye, Magikoopa. Hmm... Let's see... Down into the watery abyss? Or see if I can go elsewhere. Team is surveying an underground lake. Well, of course they are, Toad. Hmm... Down and down into the deep. Who knows what we'll find beneath? Star bits, toads, bloopers, and more. Hidden in this underwater cavern. Hmm. A switch. Which opens this grate. Which has... Just... This air bubble and some... Mines in it. Oh, there's stuff further up. Hmm. 
Can you please hit the switch there, Mario? Thank you. Now, where am I actually going? Oh, this is it. This is the ship that I needed to find. I guess going further down in the underground lake wasn't necessary yet. Hang on. I'm getting this coin first. It could be important, or it could just be star bits. It's always star bits. Whoa, uh, well, I don't know why my left Joy-Con lost connection. Can you... Excuse me? My left Joy-Con is the one that desynced, but my right one is now the one that's not being picked up? What? Well, that was weird. It was as if the right Joy-Con had completely unpaired from the console. Even when attaching it to the console, I had to manually hold the little sync button in the, uh, rail of the Joy-Con. For some reason it just would not connect. Weird. Anyway, what we're actually here to do is rematch Camilla. This'll be just about as easy as the first time. But oh no, there's a magical barrier surrounding the ship. I doubt it will be as easy as it previously was to hit her. No, it's just as easy. The the barrier is just so I don't jump out of the fight. But oh no! Now she's on board the ship with me instead of just, you know, attacking from off sides. It... This still isn't difficult. Oh no, she spawned Magikoopas up here. Whatever am I going to do about that? Maybe if I just attack them? And, yep. And now, nope, nope. Hit me with another shell. Whoop. That one didn't get grabbed properly for some reason. Anyway. One more round. Come on, Camilla. Do your worst. Because I guarantee it's not gonna be good enough. Oh no, she summoned more Magikoopas. Whatever will I do about this? Why is that knocking the shell out of the air instead of grabbing it like it's meant to? Anyway. Wow, what a, what a tremendously difficult fight. Ah. Anyway. First star of the deep dark galaxy, easy peasy. Second one, bubble blast off. Ah, right. I see. Our access to the cannon is being blocked. If only I were a skilled gamer and could defeat this enemy in the same way I've defeated multiple of his comrades. Okay, not really fair to spawn me on top of the crab, but, you know, Whatever you say, game. Oh no, now he's mad. Now he's real mad. That's... Oh boy, tough fight. 
Goodbye. And into the cannon we go. Now. Could go that way again, could do all of that nonsense. And I will, because I kind of have to. I completely missed the star, though. Uh-oh. Uh <laughs> I completely missed the planet. <laughs> well, that was a fun waste of a life. Let's actually aim this time. That might help. And Yetus Yotus. That's just gonna take me back here. Alright, I did still need the fire flower. I was like, what was the point of having to fight to get to this planet if I don't need the fire flower? The gate is already open. Yeah, the gate isn't the problem here. And... What is the problem? Is that there's still like three torches I need to light. Yep. 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 Got him. And that spawns an ice flower. I don't care, Magic Cooper. Don't care. You're not gonna hit me, because I am too good at the video game. And now, we're up here, on these walls, where everything is potentially deadly. There's, like, cannons and stuff. There's also me failing simple parkour. Anyway, now I'm back here. We're just gonna continue around. Grab this, launch ourselves over here, and now, we utilize the bubbles. I mean, I guess we don't really have to, but uh, we will have to in a second. Because right up here, the only way to make progress is getting thrown all the way over to this planet. My nose is real itchy at the moment. It's kind of weird. Anyway, gonna hit all the stumps. Activates this bubble cannon. Ow. I can't believe I let that happen. Oh well. I'm fine now. Fire! Wee. Hmm, watermelon inside the thing. And enemy that I can screw in right here. At least I think I... No, this isn't one of the ones I can just screw in. Hmm. I forget what to do about this. I'm sure Captain Toad over on the Star Shroom could give me some advice. That's not Captain Toad. Power star hidden inside the watermelon. Ground pounds to make the tennis balls hit the watermelon to... Sure, buddy. It's a little bit goofy, but... Whatever. For some reason, ground pounding makes the tennis ball hit the watermelon, which expands the watermelon. It's... it's so fucking ridiculous, but... Hey, that's Mario Galaxy for ya. Oh wow, a purple coin comet already. Well... I'm sure it can't be that difficult, right? Plunder the purple coins. Oh, I'm ready to plunder whatever I can. Are they all just in the ship cavern? Yeah, 
Yeah, they are. But, first thing we always do, go backwards. Yeah, I, I saw these as we were flying in, just barely in frame. I think it was 10? No, it's 11 down here. But I think that's all of them. Yeah. Okay. Oh, two cheeky ones hidden under the platform. Very sneaky, Nintendo. That wasn't quite what I intended, but hey, I've surfaced. And, yep. Ow. What? Oh my god, I never realized that. If you move that boo into Captain Toad because he has a headlamp, it kills them. <laughs> oh, that's so goofy, I love it. The light that's on Captain Toad's headlamp counts for damaging boos. How did I not realize that when I was younger? Oh, that's so cool. Okay, that should be all the purple coins along the beach area. Now, into the water. Because I'll finish it on the ship. Although, if I recall, there's also purple coins uh, leading up to the ship from a different angle than the staircase that you'd normally take. Yeah. There's things like in between these cannons. And the, the, these ones just all along the side. Okay, about time to actually go under the water. Gather these. And between the chains. And, hang on, get this one, please. Can, can the camera angle be of some assistance here? No? Okay. At least I still got the coin in the end. But I saw, yeah, I saw the shadow of this one earlier and was like, I must have missed something. And... Surface... I'm pretty sure that's all of the ones under here, or I'd be seeing more shadows of coins. Why did this one not project a shadow? That's a little rude. Anyway. Should actually be time to board the ship now. And just gotta collect all of the coins. You having fun there, Toad? It's adorable. Anyway. Collect these. Collect these. Collect the one just off the side here. This one. And now, carefully along the railing. These, these, this. Can you, 
Thank you. There's... There's another two? I see. Well, that's okay. Hmm. Got that one. How do I get the one on the other side of that? Hmm. Anyway, gather these, 93, hmm, I can tell there's one there, god damn it, missed one at the start, okay, so I know where Three out of the six I'm missing are. But. Hmm. Wait. Can I just. Side flip off of this mast if I line it up right? I can. Well, that answers that. Should go back for the coin that was missed at the very start. Somehow. There's not, like, a coin directly below this jellyfish or something weird, is there? Nope. Doesn't appear to be. Hmm. Because there's one up there, meaning there's three more I'm missing. Maybe there were more along the tops of the cannons that I was just blind and missed. Like if I look over this way. No. Hmm. Wait a minute. It's not off the back of the ship, is it? It was. But up a bit. There we go. I just didn't have my camera angle quite right when I looked toward the back of the ship earlier. When I was passing around it, I couldn't see up that high. Okay. Now, Time to long jump to reach that purple coin, and then fail at pulling back and landing on the ship. Yeah, of course. But, eh, I might be able to just parkour up the side, if I do it right. Like, if I jump up here... Yeah, nailed it. And that is another star done. And with that one, I guess we'll finish off the Deep Dark Galaxy and start on whatever's next in the next episode. Bye.